In 1948, the American mathematician Shannon published the article that set the ground for the information theory. In this famous paper, he explained that information could be measured regardless of the format, using the same unit, the bit. Although, to calculate it, you had to follow a weird formula, the entropy formula. The key part of the formula is this one, and we could interpret it as the level of surprise. Shannon understood that messages are composed by symbols. Let's imagine this is a password, and some of these symbols appear more frequently than others. If you have to guess this one, you wouldn't be surprised if I tell you it's a 1. It contains very little information, but if I tell you it's a J, it will have surprised you because it's quite difficult to predict, and in the theory of Shannon, it's very informative. This is the idea behind the concept of surprise. Its function looks like this. If you can predict with 100% certainty the symbol, it contains very little information. It does not surprise you. And if the probability of the symbol decreases, meaning the symbol is quite rare, it will contain more and more information. In any given message, no matter if it's text, an image, or sound, you can create a weighted average of how surprising each symbol is, and with a few calculations, you reach this result. The entropy formula. The most frequent symbols appear often, but contribute less information, while the most rare symbols provide a lot of information, but they are less frequent. This formula averages all of it and provides a measure of the information contained into it. Here we apply the concept of entropy to your DNA. A sequence that is basically a message that contains our genetic information codified into four-letter code. And we can use the entropy formula to estimate what parts of the code do not add a lot of information because they appear quite often in any given population. And also those parts that are more rare and makes you more unique. In Adentro, we have applied this concept so you can explore the level of entropy by chromosome. There are no biological implications, although the current hypothesis is that lower entropy is linked to higher redundancy and therefore more protective to disease. You can also compare your results versus other populations, as this can provide a reference for comparison of what is more or less informative. We leave you to explore what you have adentro.